Hey everybody, welcome back. We are playing Boss Constructor. This is going to be episode two. My name is Sticky Hamster on Twitch.tv. I am Sticky Hamster, all one word, on YouTube. And at Sticky Hamster on Twitter. This game was provided by the developers. And you can already tell that I'm into this. This is really fun and really cool. We're going to continue with our game play without any further ado. We're in exploration mode. And I did better than I did in my last skirmish. My last skirmish, the dude like literally like smacked into me and blasted off half of my ship. And I didn't have very much of controllability. I did lose one of my thrusters, but I can still move around pretty good. So I should be able to finish this mission off. His ship is still alive, but he's hurting. So let's continue on. And by the way, I don't know how to launch my starfighters. If anybody knows what key it is for that, please help me out. Um, I seriously don't know. Here's key and controller bindings. Maybe this will show it. Um, just saying front weapons. Chain next grab it. Carrier. Okay, it would be C. There you go, C to launch fighters. Let's unpause the game. Let's do it up. So. I'm going to try spamming starfighters at him. Was he gone? Did he retreat? He disappeared off the radar completely to me. Okay, now what just happened? All of a sudden the game zoomed out. Okay, the game zoomed out and it did show... Oh, wow. He like cloaked or something. Okay, he can cloak. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, and I must be in some sort of nebula or something. That's what it's it's not that he can cloak, it's that we're I'm, I'm in a nebula. Interesting. And by the way, since the controls, you have the inertia, it does give you that challenge. The controls aren't floaty, it's just that they're the way they should be, you know? I kind of like trying to chase him. It's like it's giving me like a little source of him, or maybe there's even a second ship, I don't know. Isn't that weird? Okay. There's a mine up there. Let's see if I can avoid getting hit. There we go. Let's go ahead and go around and collect weapon fragments. Got a little bit of ore there. Resource I can hold 75 ore, by the way. Module technology acquired. We have a spotlight. My guess is that spotlights help you see stuff in the nebula, but that's a total guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't want to get hit. Whew, missed it. Cool music also. I have a prediction, guys. I predict that this developer is going to make a whole mess of money off of this game. Because this is really good. More power to him. Okay, that's a decoration piece, it says. I 
wonder if my ship is damaged if I try to nudge an asteroid away. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm watching the integrity bar on my ship when I push. That's not too bad. So I can nudge that and I can let it float. This is the rock that I want here. This one's got the resources on it. ship is a little tricky to maneuver right now because I did lose one thruster so I have to kind of overcompensate a little bit. Eventually we're going to be getting armor pieces. I started out with utility which I don't know if was a good or a bad thing. Let's go over here to the far left of the screen and collect this thing over here. Scan this. Oh, we got more uh, ore to get to. Good. Two birds with one stone. Resource collected. Hi, Skype. I have the thrusters unaligned. Teach me, my friend. Can you change? Can you change in the middle of a mission, like the way your thrusters and stuff are? By the way, I wanted to ask you, Skyke, on our multiplayer ARC server, how's our storage going in terms of refrigerating our food and our, our eggs for our dinos? Oh, I'm going to be playing this a lot. I, I love several things about this game. Okay. After I finish this mission, maybe you can walk me into how to set the thrusters up a little bit better. I don't really have very many uh, uh, solar panels or armor to speak of yet. So I got plenty of spark powder. Okay, good. By the way, we have a multiplayer arc server that is reserved for people that are supporters of the stream. So if anybody else wants to help out on the stream, please. Please, please, and you can play with us on uh, Ark too. Ark is one of our feature games. This is probably going to become one of our feature games too, because I'm totally digging this. This is really, really cool. Okay, um, I will get better at piloting my ship here over time. That is the warp gate I can leave through there if I want. But I don't want to finish until I get the mission here. some weapon fragments here. And some more resource. Resource. Still too hard to I'm a space cowboy. I don't know what am I? I'm at least a space hamster. Spaced out.
I wonder if the fighters can go. Can the fighters do it? Nope, they won't. They're just for fighting. Oh no, they will! That's neat! They will retrieve for you. Yeah, they'll bring those things to you. Pretty cool. Or it looks like it looked like it did. At least like it looks like it did, like I said. What's the slide, Mom? Okay, we gotta scan that. I, th I first thought that you had to get like right on top of them, but you just be near them for a while. And you'll scan them. And then we'll blow that thing up. And that's a gold box. I wonder if gold boxes give you good stuff. Let's see. Are the fighters going to do it? Nope. Oh, well, nice point defense. Uh, I would guess that's for taking out missiles and perhaps even starfighters. Oh, that's cool. You can open and close the fighter bay. Resource collected. Resource Imagine a ship with a whole bunch of fighter bays, man. That would be deadly. The Battlestar Sticky Hamster. Oh, yeah. There's a mine. There we go. Avoided its explosion. Okay, we have a few more things to scan. Well, one more thing to scan. Looks like three more weapon fragments at least. And then we're going to be able to improve our ship here. Objective complete. All right. Research complete. And we got something called an integrity enhancer. There we go. So that's our mission. And now we can go jump. Objective complete. Module technology acquired. Another module here. Research complete. An advanced generator. Let's go over here into the center. So we're gonna have more energy. We'll be a, we'll be a little faster, maybe, coming up here soon. If you're wondering whether you should buy this game or not, my answer is pretty much already have decided. Yes, yeah, I'm enjoying it that much. You're gonna see me playing this a lot. 
one way to see if I'm really enjoying stuff is how much do I stream it, you know? And I've got so many good games, and it's like, this is, we're going to be playing all this a lot. Okay, so we are going to be able to buy some more stuff. Map initialized. And we got the galaxy map again. We sold some ore. Let's move our map here. We're going to go to this dude here and sell again. Trade interface activated. I got 400. Let's get some modules. Now, I could get one legendary module for 400. It'd be really risky. It could be something completely useless to my ship. But I got 400 credits. I could get 10 random modules for 40. I'm very tempted to go for a legendary module. But what if that legendary module gets shot off? Bye bye, 400 credits. So let's go 10 of these. Module technology a bulky acquired. micro ore container. A Titan armor. Research complete. A reinforced shield. Module technology acquired. A fragile ore extractor. Extracts ore from nearby asteroids more efficient than destroying them. Module technology acquired. A uh, bulky shield. Research complete. A robust propulsion Research rocket. Research complete. An inefficient battery. Can store extra synergy for later use. Module cool. technology acquired. A quick railgun. Fires an instant projectile at medium range. Pierces through shields, modules, and other objects. Damage decreases over range. So for close range, I can mess somebody up. I can maybe use the grappling hook on them and then blast them with that. Research complete. Uh, an inefficient advanced generator. It uses your credits for fuel. Module technology acquired. A bulky fission rocket. More powerful version of the propulsion rocket. And that's it. That's it at the ship. Okay. Are we going to start out at the beginning here, or what are we going to do? Integrity Enhancer. The Integrity Enhancer stabilizes the ship and increases its maximum extent. I don't know what maximum extent means. But, uh, whatever. Let's figure it out. Let's put that on here. And... So we got two rockets facing that way. We'll turn this one around. Turn this one up like two down. Okay. How many more propulsion rockets do I have? Let's look at our propulsion here. Here's energy generation too. An efficient microsolar panel. An inefficient battery. Put that there. Inefficient advanced generator. I don't want to use my credits up for energy. Another auto loader. That would increase the firing rate of an attached weapon. We're probably going to be using that auto loader along with that rail gun. Okay, here's what I'm thinking, guys. Take these two auto loaders just to show you over here on the side and put an auto loader there and an auto loader there. And then take out, I'm going to take the fighters out for now. We won't be using the fighters this time. We're going to have a grappling hook next to it. So we'll face both of these auto rollers to the right. That's going to speed that thing up. We'll move this over. Where's that grappling hook at?
Right there. So if I can snag with a grappling hook, I can start using that railgun on her face. Um, now there's an advanced generator. That's better than that other one that was damaged. Here, let's go to our energy creation stuff. So here's what we have. We have an advanced generator, we have an inefficient one. That's going to burn through my credits. I am going to try to not use that for right now. Um, the Fragile Ore Extractor. We're not going to go with that for right now. Distress Beacon, no. What type of ore container do we have here? Regular ore container. Okay. So we have... I'm thinking, I wonder if I should put an extra one here in the back. I can move that like that. Move that like that. It's kind of in the center, I guess. We're not getting any more solar panels. That's one of the problems. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Let's fly it. Let's see what it looks like when we try to test it. My ship has overlapping modules, so I gotta turn that around. There we go. Test it out. So if I can snag somebody with that grappling hook, oh boy, oh boy. So that's going to be my goal is to grab them like that and then blast them. Yeah, I turned it around. All right, my friends, we are going to try to get into a fight now. Let's zoom it in here. Just did that mission. And then this is mission. Okay, uh, we have to destroy mining ships and collect weapon, weapon fragments. Begin mission. The game crashed. Okay, that's the first time it's crashed before. Let's go ahead and load it up. Remember, the game is in early access, so that's going to be expected every once in a while. I'm loading the game back up right now. One moment, everybody. Game crashed again. Uh, let's try loading it again. One moment, guys. Just to remember, guys, nothing's perfect. It's in it's in early access. The game is still in development. Hopefully, it's saved. If it didn't, oh well. We'll I just have to go back. It crashed again. I don't know what to say right now, guys. Let's try loading it again and see what happens. I want to play. I don't think this is online. It does have online modes, but I'm playing single player right now.
Um, I don't know why it's crashing. Let me check the Steam discussions real quick. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to do, guys. But yeah, the game is crashing right now. All I can do is try to load it again. We'll see if we can get it to work. I do apologize for this. Has anybody out there played the game and knows what it could be caught what could be causing it to crash like this? I don't see any mentions of this happening in the forums. I was really enjoying this too. <laughs> Let me see if I can do anything system wise. One last try and then I'm going to reboot this, this machine here. Okay, guys. Uh, everybody out there that's watching, we're going to end this episode. And uh, I'm going to reboot the computer and I'm going to be back in a couple minutes. I'm going to see if I can get this to work. Be right back, everybody.